Now is the main show. The unveiling, the unboxing, the reveal of the boost that we have chosen to go with, but different. In three, two, one, let's go. Before we begin this video, I'm wearing this t-shirt. So you can see what it says. By the way, this is a paintball t-shirt, professional Iron Man team. Paintball, guys. So if you are triggered, though, by what I'm wearing, just want to put this out there, I don't really care. On with the video. Let's go. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Sorry for the delay. Unfortunately, I had some kind of bad news, but followed by some good news with our new 2020 to Ford Mustang GT. We just got it back from the dealership because we had some some hiccups out of the 10 or 80 transmission, go figure, right? I wanted to just verify with Ford that we were gonna be good to go to tune because today in this video, you guys have seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title, we are going to be unboxing and unveiling the boost that we have for our new Mustang. It's going to come in the later half of this video because we're about to deep dive into a mod that's going to support some things to go along with that boost from our friends at P3 Gauges. You guys know that we love this company. We run them in all of our cars, guys, and you know what it's all about. Go check out the video description to check out the products and pick one of these cool things up for yourself because they're very intuitive and I think that they're really necessary for these cars. There's so much information that you can find and play with on these devices, but we'll get into that in just a little bit. But as far as the transmission goes, on the way home from the dealership, the drive was good. So they have basically, I got my cheat sheet here. I told Ford that we were having some kind of delayed shifting, some hard shifting, and a little bit of sticking going on, which is notorious with these 10 speed transmissions. They take a long time to break in. I figured after 1700 miles, we should be good to go, but the issues were still there. So I wanted to address it before, just to make sure that we were up to, you know, full level with the transmission fluid, that we didn't have any other sticking issues, slipping issues, so on and so forth. But uh, anyway, they seem to have taken care of it, I hope. Anyway, what they've done is a reset cam and they did an accelerated main control break-in procedure. I assume that it's pretty much good to go. So they checked some things with Ford and there's some things that were updated. So we should be good to go to tune for the new boost, which we're going to be revealing, like I said, in the last half of this video. But let's get into our fast little modification with our P3 gauge before we get into that and show you what it's all about. Let's go. All right, guys. So we've got our P3 gauge. Let's see what P3 has sent us. I love these products. We got a note here. <laughs> Say, hey, YouTube. At P3, how long will you keep this Mustang? Well, short answer is we're going to be keeping this guy for a long time because in this box right over there, behind the car is our new boost. Jake from P3, go check him out. Uh, love you, brother. Love you guys back, man. You guys are awesome. Customer service, second to none. P3 gauges, go check them out. Video description, check out the links down below. But let's see what we got here. We have our little control box. This is a like a Y connector for your OBD2 port. So it looks like we can have it plugged in and maybe we can run a tuner in combination or maybe you're plugging up to a dyno or something like that or other devices. This is going to be super important. We got our boost kit there. We got our electronic little controller to give us the uh, electronic readout basically. Maybe an ethanol sensor it is. These things are plug and play. So all the different parameters and things that you can monitor within this little cool gauge here fed off your OBD2 port. Now if you don't want to run that port you can run this as an analog gauge as well. So you need a, a ground source, a power source and then you can go in through the settings of this device and turn it all basically to analog. So that'll free up your OBD2 port. There's a little bit of modification basically you'd have to do to this or you just buy the analog version. This is the OBD2 port version. So they have two different options. Anyway, let's get this dash out of the way and hopefully we don't break any clips pulling this thing out. But it's a really simple install. It'll take you about 10 minutes. Alrighty, here we go. So glad we got our Mustang back from Ford and we have a good clean bill of health with the 10R80 transmission because when we add power we're gonna start racing this thing on the drag strip freaking excited for this build guys make sure that you are subscribed to this channel hit that bell notification down there so that you don't miss future videos 
There comes the dash. And we did not break anything, didn't lose any clips, so we're good to go there. So to get this out, basically you have uh, different tabs here. There's four different ones you're gonna press. They're actually the bigger ones here. You're gonna push them in, and this whole thing is gonna slide forward out through the dash itself. Once that's free, then we find these smaller ones you see, the difference there. Very careful, because it's all just thin plastic. You don't wanna break it. Take your time, and it's all gonna pop out, just like this. I think the best way to do this is just kind of squeeze and then this whole thing just kind of slides out like that we want to leave the top piece of so this will come out and then you'll leave the top piece right there it's still going to articulate and move like factory thing we do is figure out how to put this guy in there it should just clip in all right so that fits in just like that i've already done a really detailed a click the card up above in this corner installation of one of these gauges in a mustang but what we're going to do is pull this out right here this is going to basically allow me to run snake the ethernet cord down through this this little corner up here you can see the top of the screen and then down through there and then snake it down to where i can plug it into the obd2 port just start clipping it back together you still have again functionality of your air vent and everything is sealed watertight weather tight this is not going to any moisture coming through is not going to ruin the gauge itself it's going to give you all that important information you're going to want to see on the fly kind of like the old engage setup was in the center pods but this one's going to have some new features that that old gauge just did not let's go ahead and fire this mustang up all right and it comes to life check this out all right Let's dive through some of the features. Let me turn the exhaust down to quiet. You can clear and read DCTs, which is pretty cool. Now, it's reading transmission right now, which is pretty cool because we don't have that ability in the cluster. So you can see a graph here, but as we go through, it does not give you transmission temperature. For example, let's go to, I think it's gauges, configure gauges, and then you can select whatever you wanna see here. It's like trans oil temp is selected, but it doesn't show you numbers, which is gonna be very important when we go to drag race this car. So we can monitor those things. So let's go through the menu real quick, show you what is here IETs, IET1, IET2, all those things you can monitor. EGTs, maybe your turbo car, throttle position, AFR, it'll also do lambda, so 14.5. Zero to 60 timers, a boost. This is what's going to come in handy once we boost this car, which is this big box over here. Once we boost this car, we'll be able to run that sensor that they gave us into, into, into the vacuum lines, into the engine bay. That'll keep us safe and nice and happy. Coolant temperature, speedometer. You just got a shift light on here, so all this is programmable. This is, in a nutshell, the p3 gauge real-time information stuff that you can monitor on the fly and then cycle back and forth between what you want to see is really cool and you don't sacrifice the air vent like an engage again check out video descriptions for p3 gauges big shout out to those guys second to none customer service love their products run them in all of my cars now is the main show now what you guys have all been waiting for is the unveiling the unboxing the reveal of the boost that we have chosen to go with again but different we're gonna make this thing fast we're gonna have a lot of fun with it we are going to be getting back into some drag racing and all of those things and this boost option that we decided to go with is definitely going to be the ticket and it's the hottest thing out right now guys a little bit of a different setup than what we had on the Mach 1 you guys remember that car let's unbox this thing and see what we've got in store let's go all right guys the main show here in this box is the new supercharger for our new 2022 Mustang GT guys it is now time or here soon to get this thing installed and turn it up in three two one let's go all right and just just like that we have it unboxed we have the ESS kit once again but a little bit different we're doing the G3 X trim with a G4 intercooler so we're gonna go around and just kind of show you what comes in the kit because this is like the ticket this is what you want on your Mustang at this point this is like the best bang for the buck these things are incredibly priced and again we have links down below in the description for where to find these for a great deal I'll cover more of that in just a second explain how you can save the most money on one of these kits but I'll show you some of the components and what's coming 
for this because we don't have one or two, but we have three different pulleys that we're going to be running on this car to start with and showcase how this thing transforms. But we're going to take our time doing it. So we're going to live on 93 for a little while and really explore the limits of the potential of this kit. What you get with 93 pump gas, full weight. We're going to strip a little bit of weight. We're not going to sabotage this car. I said that when I got this. We're not going to hack this thing up, and that is still my plan not to do so. I love this car. I think it's beautiful the way it is and I don't want to ruin it, but we do want to add in power and this is how we're doing it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the G4 intercooler before we had the G3. We did not have the billet uh, internals. We didn't have the X trim. So this is all something new. I kind of teased that in the beginning when we bought the car, I was going to say, I said that we were going to be doing something a little bit different. G4 intercooler is supposed to be about 30% bigger. Uh, decided to go with the raw aluminum finish because I actually want to see it behind the grill this time. I want this car to look mean and the part, but you can get these black powder coated, which is going to match her head unit here. This is the G3 X trim this time, which is going to support big power. So as we open this up, I'll show you what it looks like. This is so, so nice and tight in here, but this is our new G3 X trim head unit. This thing flows a whole ton of CFM. Like at this point, at this day and age, why people like even consider like some of the other centrifugal blowers out there, the other name brands, it blows my mind because they're gonna spend a whole lot more money and a whole lot less performance. I mean, ESS guys, the secret has been out for a long time and we help reveal that with the Mach 1. So this is kind of, this is kind of my comeback story, okay? Because that car went away at the height of COVID because I was offered a whole lot of money for you guys that may not know or miss that video. Why we sold that of course because I was able to cash out on them and because I think it'd be really cool to have the new Mustang the new S650 alongside this but probably not for two or three years I want to see what other specialty models are going to come out everybody's all over the dark horse thing but honestly I'm just I'm kind of waiting I want to see what Ford's going to come out with are they going to come out with a boss Mustang again what is the new GT500 going to look like I want to see what Ford is going to do what their answer is but for now this is it. This is a lap cut gear option, obviously. And you have the billet internals, which is going to support bigger power. Let's take a look inside of here. Beautiful, beautiful. So we've got a black head unit. We have the raw aluminum finish on the intercooler. So you'll be able to see it on the car. It's gonna look really good, really mean. Here we got plugs, we got this, we got that. We got a boosted pump for now. Before we go E85 fuel system, we do have the precision blow off valve and we have all the bracketry and some of the hoses and all that stuff in here again this is also one of the benefits why you'd want to go with this kit over maybe the competition because primarily what you see here so this whole unit is super light we've got a lot of silicone hose adding weight is definitely the enemy to going fast so we want to make sure that we are light and this silicone hosing helps support all that and big power all right guys there we have it we have the g3x with the g4 cooler coming to our 22 mustang GT very soon guys if you are interested only in the kit then you got to email brevin at esstuning.com let him know that you want the Xander 13 special just like before when we had it on the Mach 1 guys if you mention Xander 13 he's going to take care of you he's going to hook you up but guys if you're looking for an insulation package hit up my boy Ken at HPR Automotive and just let him know that you know I sent you over there and he'll take really good care of you Ken and Chris over there are really good friends of mine they've been taking care of me for a long time we've been buddies for years and there is nobody else nobody else that I trust and as far as tuning, you guys know where we're going. We're going Wingard Performance, like always. He is the only tuner at this point that I trust, and he's going to take care of us. So get ready for all the boosted Mustang content to come. Very excited to get this build underway and started, but I appreciate all you guys watching nonetheless. And just like I said, make sure you subscribe to this channel because we're going to turn it up, and we're going to have fun, and we're going to go fast. I'll see you guys next time. God bless all of you. I'll see you next video. Goodbye.